The content for this training in WWC Group Design Standards is divided into several modules which follow a consistent structure. Each module includes a summary of the objective for the module, detailed information on the module topic including examples, and knowledge checks to reinforce content and test what you've learned. In addition to this introduction, the training consists of five modules that focus on different topics from the WWC standards, as well as three additional modules that focus on WWC review procedures. The modules that focus on the WWC standards are group designs, attrition, baseline equivalence, confounding factors, and outcome measures. The modules that focus on WWC review procedures are systematic reviews, study review guide, and reporting. We will now provide an overview of the content covered in each module. The first module of the training focuses on the type of research designs that we can review using the WWC Group Design Standards, namely Randomized Controlled Trials, or RCTs, and Quasi-Experimental Designs, QEDs. The module discusses what counts as an eligible randomized controlled trial including what the WWC considers well-executed randomization and what counts as an eligible quasi-experimental design study. The second module introduces the concept of attrition, which is the loss of participants from a research study, and explains how the WWC assesses attrition for RCTs. This module discusses how the WWC defines attrition and why attrition is important. We also walk through how to calculate attrition rates, apply the attrition standards to RCTs, and recognize what the WWC does and does not consider to be attrition. The third module discusses the concept of baseline equivalence, whether the intervention and comparison groups in a study were similar before the start of an intervention. This module reviews how the WWC defines baseline equivalence and demonstrates when and how to apply the WWC equivalent standard. We also cover how the WWC determines the characteristics that it uses to assess baseline equivalence. The fourth module is about confounding factors. The module reviews the WWC's definition of a confounding factor, which is a study component that makes it difficult or impossible to distinguish the effect of the intervention from the effect of that component. We provide examples of confounding factors and discuss how confounding factors affect the WWC's review of a study. The fifth module discusses the outcome measures a study uses to measure the effectiveness of an intervention and what requirements those measures must meet. This module reviews the WWC's definition of an outcome measure and explains why the WWC evaluates the outcome measures used to demonstrate impacts in studies. We describe the WWC requirements for outcome measures and illustrate how to apply the outcome measure standard. The last few modules focus on WWC processes for reviewing, reporting, and summarizing findings. Module 6 focuses on the systematic review process which is the process the WWC uses to identify studies, assess the credibility of their findings, and summarize the results of our reviews. Module 7 walks through the Study Review Guide, which is the primary tool WWC reviewers use to assess studies and document their findings. Module 8, the reporting module, explains what the WWC reports regarding the effectiveness of an intervention. This concludes our introduction to the WWC Group Design Standards Training. Let's review what we discussed in this module. We covered the purpose of the training and who should complete the training. We provided background information on the WWC and described the logistics related to the training. We introduced the Group Design Standards Framework and identified resources to support learning the standards. We also covered the different certification options and provided an overview of the topics we will cover in each module. We will begin the training series by discussing group designs in Module 1. Just a few final reminders. You can access all the resources mentioned in this module through the WWC website, whatworks.ed.gov.
Please note that the full slide deck for this module is available on the WWC website. To receive a certificate of completion for viewing these training modules, you must view the videos on the WWC website. Thank you for viewing the introduction to the WhatWorks Clearinghouse WWC Group Design Standards Training.